Hey guys, it's Agonasi Tilmer again and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining today. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to ask you if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, to please do so by just clicking on the button below to get notified because it's really going to help me in bringing you a lot more content. Today I'm really excited because I'm going to be talking about a topic that I think is really important to me and will be to you and that is prototyping. Like why would you need to prototype in what you're doing? If you're a game developer, if you're an augmented reality developer, a VR developer. I mean, this applies to any type of creator. I've been doing prototyping for the last seven to eight years and I love doing it. I, I think I'm one of the persons in my, in my previous jobs, in my current job, that I try to push as much as I can when it comes to trying new technologies. I've been trying things with mobile development, augmented reality, voice recognition. I mean, you name it, I'm really curious and I'm not saying that I'm unique, but I'm saying that that is some of the things that I think you should be doing. I think some of the biggest things that I've that I done and that have contributed to my success is in a lot of different areas has been to prototyping. So if you're thinking about prototyping as, you know, working on a game and then abandoning and working on a game and abandoning, that is not what I mean by prototyping because I actually have done that before where I work on something and I abandon it. No, I'm talking about you suspending, you know, a couple of days working on a feature or something that is coming up. For instance, when Apple was working on 3D Touch, I wanted to experiment with that new technology to see how difficult it was gonna be, to see how feasible it was gonna be for me to implement it in one of my apps. So that's the type of thing that I, that I would recommend that you do. Make sure that you're allocating at least 20 to 30% of your time to prototyping. Also, and if you have a bigger company, make sure that you have a team that is dedicated in doing that because it's really gonna help you in moving forward and learning new things because at the end of the day, I think it's not only that it's gonna be fun because to me, prototyping is, is really, really fun. I really get excited when, you know, I prototype something and it's just a brand new project. You're jumping in, you're coding, you're, you're learning new things. That is, is cool and that's great and I, I enjoy doing that, but I think one of the takeaways from, from here is what you're learning. The learning, the learning that you're gonna gather through doing that process is what's gonna get you to your next project or it might get you to a feature that you need to implement in your in your project or in your game, in your app that is gonna help you, you know, take, take it to the next step. So make sure that you're allocating enough time. The other thing that I wanted to talk about today was, okay, I prototype, I, I do that a lot and then what do I do with that code if you, you know, if you're not actually releasing it? And one of the things that is interesting about that is I, I actually been doing that for the last few months and I've been prototyping more than ever. I've been you know, bringing you guys a lot of different videos on prototyping with augmented reality, with VR, with face tracking, and I love it. I really, really enjoy it. But I think one of the takeaways from that is that now that I have so many different projects that are open source, the community is ga gaining access to those and they can use them. And that makes me really happy that you guys are doing that. But at the same time, I can actually start making apps for myself. I can make, for, for instance, I'm working on, a, on an application right now where I'm basically gonna be combining some of the learning experiences that I had. For instance, I learned how to do reference points. I'm actually learning how to do drawing in VR. So how can I actually incorporate that into an app? I've been experimenting with visual effects in, in augmented reality. So I, I've been combining a lot of the ideas that I have from all these different prototypes and then bringing them into one final application that you know I wouldn't have started unless I've gone through that process. So prototyping will get you to your next milestone. It will get you, you know, it'll actually make you realize what your next project is gonna be. Or it might make you realize what feature you need to add to your existing project. So that's what I wanted to talk about today. Just you know make sure that you're prototyping, make sure you're allocating time for that. And then make sure that you're staying consistent. Just don't do it once and then don't do it again. Just make sure you keep doing it all the time. And I'm not saying just focus on prototyping and not work on your project. Like I said, just, just allocate some time and then keep working on your project. And also it's gonna be a lot of fun. So that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about today. If you guys have any questions about anything that I just mentioned, please let me know in the comments. And also make sure that you check out gamedev.net because they have great resources for game developers. And also find me in patreon.com where I'm basically posting the code that I talk about in this video, early access to code, early access to my videos as well. So. Thank you very much, guys.